Lisa Shanking, creator of the proven Kill the Diet weight loss system for permanent weight loss without pills, guilt, or depriving yourself. This week, it's going to get personal because I want to touch on a subject that most of us have all felt at one time or another in our lives. Imperfections. We all have imperfections. They're what make each of us beautiful and unique in our own ways. But so often, especially driven by the media, we try to correct these imperfections, covering them up or changing them cosmetically or over-exercising. Today, I implore you to embrace your imperfections by putting a different perspective on them. See them as simply a part of you and your journey. So often we hear people say embrace your imperfections. And while I do believe in that rather than trying to hide any part of who you are, that doesn't mean you can't try to improve yourself. It's just all in how you do it. Obsessing about imperfections is not good for your mind, nor is it good for your body, because it can lead to poor judgment and doing things that are not safe or not natural. Instead, enjoy the journey of self-improvement. I fell completely victim to this recently. Remember I told you I set a goal for myself to hold a headstand as one of my 2016 New Year's resolutions? Well, I've been practicing since January and I've been getting really close, but I began practicing so much because I got a little overzealous about it, getting it and holding it for a long time. My obsession turned into practicing too often, falling a little too often because I didn't quite have my balance, and I ended up fracturing one of my ribs last month in my back. Now I couldn't practice my handstands for four weeks, and after not practicing for a while, I'm feeling like it's a big setback. But this imperfection of mine, where I cannot stay up in a handstand, is mine to own, and the journey has been trying to improve my balance. Does it make me self-conscious in yoga to attempt my handstand when so many people around me have it perfectly? You bet it. But now that my journey has had a little setback, and I've learned a big lesson from it, Take it slow and don't push myself too hard. I'll get there, but the journey and getting out of my comfort zone is half the fun. Getting to the actual goal is the other half and I'm excited about it, but that can't be all of what it's about. So you have imperfections or habits that you're trying to improve. Please share them below with this video. Our LisaShankin.com Kill the Diet community is here to support you, both along your journey and when you get there. I'm Lisa Schenken wishing you a happy, healthy, a little bit imperfect day.